Welcome to another Teacher Tobin tutorial. This tutorial is designed to help math or science teachers dip their toes into programming with Python 3. It's a continuation on for the Fibonacci number sequence tutorial that I posted a while back. So if you've watched that one first and then come over to this one. So this is an idea for a lesson. If you've already taught the Fibonacci number sequence and you're introducing the idea of a golden ratio, you could incorporate uh, programming into your class. So um, ask your students to do some research about the golden ratio and come up with some interesting properties from it. For example, it solves a quadratic equation, x squared minus x minus one equals zero, uh, or squaring 1.618 is the same as adding one to it. Um, there are lots of really interesting facts about it, so get, some, uh, get a little fact finder mission going first. Then present your students with a problem and say that you would like to create a program with their help that takes any number, any starting number, and then works out the golden ratio from it. And then the, some of them may have already researched a little uh, trick that can do this, and, or, or if they haven't, set them back into research mode. And then one of them should come up with uh, a, a way of working out phi, the Greek letter phi, PHI, um, using inversing and adding one. So if you start any, have, have any starting number, you can uh, do one over x, and then plus one to that sum, and then do one over x plus one, one over x plus one. You can use your scientific calculator with the inverse function to do that. And it, you can have any starting numbers. You could ask your students to come up with starting numbers and then see how long it takes for it to come up with a, an approximation of the golden ratio, how many rounds of inversing and adding one it takes to, to come up with a, a reasonably accurate rational number, say that to, you know, eight decimal places, something like that. You know, 1.618 um, It's a, This is really the starting point of the logic and we want, we, we want the students to start getting an idea of problem solving. Um, so we can use this little trick, which they can do with a calculator, to create a program in Python which takes a number from a user using this program and then uses that inversing trick to work out an approximation of the golden ratio and, and then tell the user how many times it took to, uh, to do that to, say, you know, 15 decimal places. So you can put the real value of the uh, of golden ratio in the program, so that it can sort of while some while the number is not me reaching that, you carry on doing something using a while loop, which we covered before, and then stop when a condition is met. Okay, so without any further ado, let's have a look at the the, the Python code, and uh, in Pythonista on the iPad. In Pythonista three, on the iPad set your file name with no spaces within the file name itself and make sure it ends in .py the .py extension must be there otherwise it won't work properly and set Python to run in Python 3 uh, 3.6 in Pythonista's case now in order to use certain mathematical functions or numbers that are stored within the math module you need to import it into your code so at the top import math is what will allow us to do certain functions like square root you'll see later now um, next there's a, actually a, there's a small little error here so actually what it should say is print and then parentheses and then double uh, speech marks and this program works out so it's just it's just a little instruction it's just saying what the program does so that it's not just a blank thing that comes up when the user presses uh, presses the program. Um, it's always courteous to at least put a little uh, instruction in there. So, so um, please do amend that. Just it, it won't affect the running of the code. It will just um, be expecting the user to put something in. It won't go anywhere. Um, so I'm just printing a, bl a blank space here. So in parentheses and double quotation marks. You can use single quotation marks, but in Pythonista it tends to be a bit funny with single quotation marks, so I use double. And the octothorpe here, sometimes known as the hash or pound sign, uh, and then just have a little comment. So variables just allows you to keep your code nice and neat. So define your variables. Phi, which is denoted by PHI in the, in the Greek alphabet, and it's going to be a floating number. It's not going to be a, uh, a whole number integer. It needs to have a decimal point. So that's why we have float and float parentheses inside there. We have input parentheses and our double speech marks. Input means we're expecting the user 
the person running uh, who, who's running this program to put something in and then whatever they type in will be stored in that variable PHI phi. So enter a starting number and it will be stored as a, as a floating decimal point so it means it, we can have um, one point something and it will still work. And then our next variable will be count so um, this is stored not just as a, a whole number integer but as a float so 1.0 and we can update that number each time we go through this while loop. So the concept of while loops was, uh, was talked about in the in a previous video in the Fibonacci number sequence. Um, so while a condition, in this case phi, is not equal to, so exclamation mark equals, it means not equal to, round, so we're gonna round this rational number up to a certain number of places, you'll see that in a moment. Um, so it's in, in the golden ratio is defined as 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and you've got uh, 1 plus math dot square root so that means we're calling up the math module which we had at the very top we're calling that up and we're calling the function square root from inside that module so math dot square root calls that function and the parameter will be 5 in this case uh, so be careful of the syntax here make sure you've got enough parentheses brackets and then we're rounding to 15 places. That's why that, that space comma 15 is there. And then we have our colon, and then the carriage return will indent the code. So we're inside the while loop now. So now what we're doing is defining phi as one over phi plus one. So every time this loop goes around one iteration, it will, it will um, do one over the number, starting number, and then add one to it. And we're also gonna update the value of count variable by one each time we do this loop and then we're going to print what we came out with so we notice there's no speech marks here it's print and it's going to be printing at, uh, the, the the variable so it's not um, a string else um, if that's already done then we're going to be printing the values uh, of our variable so we're going to use a formatter tool which is a really nice uh, addition to Python uh, where you can have that F at the start, at the, at the start, and you can use curly braces to actually call a variable inside that string. So you can see here. Now there's actually a small error here, so um, that should be a small p h i. So when we run this program, it'll come up with a, it should come up with a little error saying variable undefined, something like that. So let's see what happens when we run it. Worked out in, so we can call our count variable here to work out how many rounds it took for the golden ratio up to 15 decimal places to be uh, displayed from the, from the starting number. Okay. So this is a string here, it's, just, it's essentially a sentence, but within that string we're adding values of two variables which we're using the curly braces. Okay, so let's run it. And I put enter a starting number. So let's put a starting number in, and it says, okay, phi is not defined. We knew, we knew that because um, it's got a big P in it. So with that dialog box, um, just expand it, and then go to line 14, and it's saying line 14 is the error. So you just scroll down, and then it's, it's literally telling you where the error is. So you can go back to the code, and then we know that on line 14, that variable is not um, being called correctly, so we use small p. So now it's fine. Enter a starting number, and then here it, is, here it is, the golden ratio, worked out in 40 rounds. Thank you for watching this Teacher Tobin tutorial. I hope it helped. And if you are able to implement any of these techniques in your classes, please let me know in the comments below and any ideas for future content. Okay, thank you very much. Take care.